peeps, welcome back to Timberboard. If you remember in last episode, we were trying to make this awesome little kind of reservoir lake thing here in the hope that it would back up all the water around our island. And just as we thought we'd got it, we finished building off all the little dams and the levees and everywhere just to contain the water. We noticed that the water wasn't actually flowing through these dams over here and the height wasn't building up. And what we discovered was there's a little bit of an exit point out here, which we've got to dam up. It's taking all of the water flow away from our main land. And obviously that means that our little water wheel doesn't spin and therefore we don't make any planks which is why we've got a poor little guy in this wheel doing all the hard yards so today we're going to be trying to finish this off to get this kind of levied across here and then what we will be doing is looking to get into this metal pile which is where we've got to do this district so we managed to get the district built and we managed to get the drop off point built at the end of last game and then we need to get this which is the distribution center this needs to be built and finished and then we'll be able to migrate some beavers if we've got any which we don't have any spare at the minute but we'd be able to migrate some beavers over to this district to do all the hard yards around here we kind of need to get a move on with this because at some point we're going to get another drought again and currently as it stands we don't have any way for the water to get into our little pool so we're going to pump it out using the water pump we don't actually have any way to kind of fill it back up i guess we could do a water dump in the meantime and just kind of dump the water in here so just to bridge a gap and because we've got a lot of science we've got a water dump and we we will have to do this there's literally no other way just to keep these water levels up so as a result of that we would also want some water storage in here so that these two water pumping stations this guy and this guy these two fill up this water and then it gets dumped in here we want to make this a top priority and get it done we're still slacking on the old logs but it is what it is and the guys will get around to doing it but that'll work itself out we'll work out how to do that and what to do around that so you see the guy's working at the water dump now and he's dumping the water into the little bit of river that we've got going around our base and that will slowly very very slowly over time start to fill up and raise the water level of this i mean it's got a long way to go for sure but it will get there eventually and it'll hopefully help us kind of add the water that we need to keep everything growing when we get a drought through because at the minute our water level is 0.09 so it's not a very very good level at all and it's only going to go down this is what the distribution post is all about so from here we can say add new route to the drop off point and we need it to take can only do one thing at a time we need it to take logs we also need to take some sort of food so we'll go with berries because we've got a lot of berries and we'll also need it to take some water over there and all that means is that whatever beavers i send over there when there's some available can get to work working on all this stuff and this is the problem that we've got because we don't have any water feeding this now it's completely and utterly dried up so what i might have to do is just knock a little bit of a wall in here just give this a little bit of a flood she's going to take that down a bit that'll be all right there at that level but once it drops below the block though we're not going to get any water coming in here which isn't so bad right now we can manage that it'll help with our water level and things water levels going up beautifully i've swapped the place of the water pump it was here on this tiny little green land we've now moved it over here to the island where it's actually going to be useful in the hope that they'll also keep the water dump topped up with water so it can keep dumping all the water so there you have the water level has now dropped below the level of the levee that we've got there um but it has given us enough water there is definitely enough water in here we've now up to 0.44 where we were well it, you saw it all dried up completely so with the drought being here we are in a little bit of bother oh two guys have actually already gone into the distribution post straight away just by pure want so we have started to get resources out to this new area as you can see on the right side we've got some berries we've got some logs we've got some planks and we've got water so we do have a slight dilemma and that's this water pump actually doesn't go deep enough when the water levels go down so we've had to build a third one over here just so that it can nibble into this little little pond but this isn't going to last forever but we were getting real closer on having no water so we've had to throw that in there just to see how it goes so we currently have two beavers that we're not using so what we do is we go into the district center we go and migrate and we tell it we want to go to district two and we say we want to go three adults now we'll go three adults and we click migrate and they'll go all the way to district two which is obviously over here and when they turn up over here they'll basically get to what needs to be done so we have the stairs that need to build in we're telling them to just dig up all these trees that get us all the way over here just to expand the length of the district we will add the paths in and it'll get them all the way to dams and the levees where they can then begin to do what they need to do in order to hopefully hold back the river and force it round how we want to force it round we should be able to get to a point where we can protect ourselves with water and once the water is in here i can get rid of the water dump as well because that won't be needed anymore 
The water is coming back, which is helpful. The water level of this will start to shoot up, which it is doing awesome. So that'll give us plenty of water in there to take a drink from. Likewise, this should now be filled up so we can set that up. Is he pumping yet? Yeah, there we go. So he's nice and deep on that now so we can get a load of water out of there. We might even benefit from putting a couple of dam pieces in this wall of levees. The idea was to push it around this way so it went through these pieces. We just got to close this gap up here, which we are doing slow and steady. So we want this to be high priority. We want them to focus on the levees. We need this to be good to slow this water. I'm just worried about how much this is going to build up now. We might need to take this gap one higher because it's going to be level with this bank here and ooh, we can see it goes up every time anyway it's going to start probably spilling over the top of that bank which is going to wash out the metal work so we'll just have to see how it goes but it should start seeping through here it needs to it needs to start seeping through here because this is well not good not in a good situation i need to do it i need to take one of these out so we're going to lose everything and we can't afford to lose everything and once this is built then then we will block this up because we need this gap we do we need water in here so everything is going to die so that we can put a levee in there. I just don't know what the height of the water will be when it starts to get in here. Looks like it might be very high because we're relying on that single exit out this way to be enough to empty this so that we don't flood ourselves. The water is starting to come through these dams as well. So we are backing it up now. How backed up is this stream? Pretty good. It's narrowed. So once this is narrowing, you can see how much it's kind of forcing its way through. Actually, that's really high. Ooh. Oh boy. So these dams aren't actually enough. So maybe we are right to put a couple of dams in here. They need to be of the utmost importance. We might need to swap some of these out. So before this was all dams and they changed them to levees. Looking at it now, we might need to do the other way around. I think we can stop the water dump now. I'm not going to lie, that's it's not really needed. How are we looking? We're getting there. So now onto a nice narrow gap. We'll turn this into the metal production maybe. What have we got? One metal piece. And a mine. That's mine's all the way up here. Hey, there we go. So now we've got the water billowing over there. We've got the water billowing over here. We've got the water absolutely launching around here. That's some pretty fast water wheeling. This is behaving so far. So far, so good. Woo, nearly there. This is what I was saying. See how high this is pushing this water up now? Yeah, it's going to start doing that, which is what we want to avoid. So how far around is that going to push everything is the next question. Which building has flooded? Buildings are now flooding. All of these guys. <gasps> oh, that's bad. It's really bad. So we've got to put some dams in here. We'll dam this rather than levy in it just to get the uh, flow of the water through. Probably the same here, actually. Dam that as well. And then maybe, fingers crossed, maybe that'll help. I don't really know. But this is what we wanted to avoid. However, it's not actually got through to the main bit yet. It is very close, though. But that is why I built that retaining wall here. Because I kind of had a feeling that this was happen. Well, this will be interesting. We're getting a drought soon. And with all the water absolutely launching everywhere, it's going to be very interesting to see how it handles. We'll be unlocking the floodgate and we will be putting the floodgate in this gap. Once we finish building all of these, see how much of a bad idea this is. The drought has started and you can already see how much of a difference it's made. It's no longer coming through these dams into our little lake around our house. I want us to store more water back here than what we do. In order to do so, we need to hold more back. So by damming this stuff off, we're actually holding quite a lot back now. It goes all the way back up this first section of the river itself. So we do have a massive amount of water around here. Water level is dropping and we've got 4.8 days left. We're going to build a load of new power wheels down here. When the water flows, it launches, absolutely launches itself down here. And we're going to start connecting stuff up. So it should be something like that. Now, I don't mind about running things underwater. And as you guys might not know, we can run power underwater without a problem. Or at least that was my findings last time. So that is what we will do. Yeah, there we go. So now we can keep the spaddock slightly separate from the rest of the water. And you can control it by the floodgate. So it'll be very interesting to see what actually happens here. Fantastic. We are hopefully able to get over here now. And now we can unlock metal stuff. So a scavenger's flag for metal is pretty much the same as a scavenger's flag for logs and wood. It's the same old thing. You just throw that down. And then when you've got a spare worker, a spare worker jumps in here. And he'll just start using all of his power and might to get all that scrap metal which we can then bring down here and put into warehouse so that is nice and full we'll turn that floodgate off there we go it locks out all the water so it's just going to run over the top of the dam and then we'll sit and stay and we'll hold a lot of water in here for a bit as you see it's no longer coming out of this little dam piece it means the rest of the water is absolutely flying out of the dam bit down here which you can see is causing a lot of flow through where these four water wheels would be 
Yeah, so we're now at that dangerous point where the water doesn't really know what it's doing at the minute. It's going high and going low. So we've got to try and control this somehow in a much better way. It is literally bombing over everywhere and we've got to protect the homeland. There are potentially more exit points out the back here. The only thing I can see us doing here is if, and I don't know if this is such a good idea in the slightest, but if we push the problem further back upstream, we want the deepest of the deepest floodgates that we can get. So it's something like that. And then we're going to need to platform around like that. So that's a rough idea, roughing out. And I hope that we can hold back some water back here, but I don't know if that will work. Because that will push it off the side of the map there if we can push it that way around. So if I can sort of down between these two, all I'm doing is pushing the problem further upstream. I should be worrying about it downstream to where it's all flowing like these guys really, but it is what it is. The drought has started. Let's up the floodgate to stop any water rushing out there. Keep that at a nice level. Maybe that's what we should do at this end as well. We should floodgate these at this end, maybe. Then we can't go across the top. We <laughs> are yeah, dried up, right. So what I was planning to do was turn a couple of these into floodgates. And I think that is exactly what we'll do right this moment. So that we can use some of the water that is stored back here. It's utterly pointless it being there if we don't get onto it. So we'll get the floodgates in there and we'll do the same here. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. Oh, uh, what kind of headache is this going to cause when the water comes back? I reckon a big one. So a lot can change with these floodgates. Crumbs, crumbs. Ooh, what is going on? It's because of this, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. That's what I was saying about pushing a problem further upstream. Oh, rats. Forgot about this. Oh, uh, we need a way to automate it. Right, this needs to go away. We need we need a gears shop. Long overdue. Get this bad boy built. Get somebody in here because we need gears. 100%. Why we need some new housing? One good thing about this lodge is because it's got a top door entrance, you can place it somewhere like up a level. So, for example, for us, we can put it on this high level up here. We don't have to worry too much really about the entrance. As long as there's a path to it, the guys will get themselves in there. Here we have one of the greatest power constructions ever. We've got all these water wheels, this real crazy complex system that gets us over the current dams and levees and gets us up here. And that means that when we get power, this whole dry section up here is where we can be putting all of our power stuff. Now we've got ultimate power in here, look, producing a lot. This little wheel is as redundant as I didn't think it would be. We also need some steel. So, go into our metal. We've got our smelter. Our smelter can convert scrap into steel blocks. And that is what we need. Absolutely beautifully. But obviously, our scrap metal is over here. So, we've got to set up another distribution system. Where we're going to have a distribution post over this side. And then we're now going to have a distribution drop off over here. Uh, it's going to be oh, all the way back here, probably. So, we'll take the scrap metal back across that way. When we've got a free worker. Yeah, we don't have many or any over here. I mean, we got over at the first place district one we've got eight so let's migrate a couple over and they'll get in here and they'll do what we want it to do so they'll take the scrap metal from here and run it over here hopefully that, that's the intention that's the plan and obviously with scrap metals across they can get in here and they'll be able to build us our smelter we have a drought in three days as a result of that i'm going to block off all the water again over in these guys now i wonder do you think we would be better off if we floodgate over this at least that way, we're sort of in some sort of control. Keep this section sectioned off as it is. I'm cutting this corner here. If we narrow the turn in, we can kind of accelerate the push of the water around the corner through the water wheels, giving us more power for what we have. Because obviously the faster the stream flows, the more power that we'll get out of these. But if we can kind of floodgate this stuff off, then we're able to hold back water without it getting too high, too low. The only problem there is we are giving ourselves a lot of work to remember to do manually as an individual because floodgates, you can't operate them automatically. All floodgates are up, just relying on the dams now to seep anything out that they need to seep out. It's almost controlled all this water. I think what we will do though is make, definitely make those two dams. I'm not sure if I want to make those two dams or not, but we'll see. Got a little bit of a, a swirly swishy going on right here, so we are sort of generating power somehow. We'll lower these floodgates just to get a little bit of water in. Ooh, lower than that, lower than that, okay. Once that water is in, we can up the floodgates. Two's high enough in it, yep. Hey, so that's what we kind of wanted because that's going to force a lot more water off the map. 
this way now. So we can back up this sort of water. I want to back him up one more block. So you see where we're just building here onto the next step up. If we can back up that, gives it another exit out of the map here, which means we'll have better control. Hopefully, we'll have better control over the chaos that is going on downstream around us down here. I've only got 14 adults. Something happened when I wasn't around. Yeah, everybody else is it's not good. It's not good at all. How we're looking upstream. How many beavers have these got? Is, has anybody died over here? Yes. We've got a child. One child who's got no food and no water because there's nobody taking anything to him. Let, let's send him back to District 1. So he's going to grow up over there where there is food and there is water. Hopefully we're going to get this population back up again. Poor old population has been hit pretty hard over the years. I need some very busy beavers while everybody's still young enough to have children. As long as the important buildings have workers, I mean science, we can even pause science for now. As long as we have water and food. As long as we've got water and food, obviously. I have room for 69 beavers. Eh. But I only have 25 in a minute. Just need them to start breeding. Breeding like rabbits. Oh, we've got a good breeding program now. We've got 10 kids on the way now. Good. We are, you know, rocketing through this. Okay, yeah, so we're keeping a little bit of water back here that hopefully we can just nick through the floodgates when we need to. This stuff, this cattail thing, it's kind of like a, a grain by the reason thing. So this is like a flower type thing. You can grind it up and turn it into a sort of a flower. And then what you can do is you use that in the mill. Like I say, grind it into a flower in the mill and then you can like make sort of bread stuff with it. So it's another source of food. And the more sources of food you have, the happier your beaver well-being is. Right, now we've got some people back. We've got nine left. <laughs> Migrate nine of those to the metal. Away you go, fellas. And they'll get on to work as we would like them to do. Get some carrots in here because we freed up the space because we had so many berries. We had over a thousand berries. Well, we had over 2,000 berries at the time. So throw some carrots in, get a bit of diversity in the diet. And now we'll just put these number ones in because we need to use it as like scaffolding to get across. And then once we've got across, we can come back and we'll put floodgates in there. So then we can control this side and then we can control this side. And then hopefully we will have a lot of control over all the water that's around us then. And we can get quite a good height on it. That's the idea. Likewise, if we dam lev that was supposed to be a levy. No, it was supposed to be a dam, sorry. And top priority this. I'm already noticing the problem that this is going to cause up here. Because this isn't ready yet. What happens if we put these up to one? Where do we end up flooding? All the way. All the way back is where we end up flooding. That's what we're trying to avoid. Wow, it floods so much. So we have had somewhat of a productive episode today. We have rerouted the path of this river a bit by taking out this corner. Which means we do get a bit of a quicker flow. Helping the water wheels spin. Which gives us a little bit more room for our water farm. We've also given ourselves some floodgates at the end of this. And we've sort of sorted out the bit in the middle-ish. So that we're able to flood ourselves around our little stream. But keep our water farm thing separate we're currently working on building this up another level just so we can flood a little bit more behind it all of this stuff we're also trying to work out how we can cut this off so that we send more water down here and off the map this way so that we have a little bit more control of all the water that comes down here this way and then that means that we should be holding a lot of water back here that we can constantly keep ourselves flooded with i want to get this bit finished anyway guys thank you very much for watching take it easy peace bye for now bye everybody